Bueno, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. First of all, it's my second time in Ireland, and the first time I came, it was two years ago. I like it very, very much. And also, we have many guests in Arzac from Irish guests. And really, I like it, the way of being, the way of eating, and everything. You know, when I received this invitation of for this Congress, for me, it was not really a good time. This, I mean the dates, because uh, two weeks ago was the uh, uh, Gastronomica in San Sebastián. Last week, two days, I went to a travel in Spain, and so I am the type of person that travels but tries to be as much as possible in the restaurant. But when I read the, the program, really, I said, Helena, you can miss that because it's very strange, looks very interesting, and is very like an alternative uh, congress. And I'm sure you are going to take something out from it. Now, this is why I came. Thank you, YP, and everybody to invite me here. Also, as you can see, I'm happy to see there are other Spanish people. And from San Sebastian, my friend Kevin, that explain you the beers that are really good. I'm proud to have a person of abroad that is doing so well in, in our city. Um, you know, re recently, no time ago, I was, like some of you, at home taking notes for some conferences or stu of studies or for new plates or getting ideas, no? The, the work of researching. Then I was having breakfast in my house, and I was looking in internet, no? You cannot avoid in, in internet, and I took some notes. And then suddenly I, I saw um, a sentence that said, it's time to rethink everything. And this sentence, I stopped writing. I said, Elena, you need to change. Elena, you need to change your way of thinking. You need to change the way of acting. And this sentence stayed in my head for a long time. So I said, Elena, I realize I need to change a little bit my way of working and of thinking. So this is why uh, uh, I, I thought that. And then I, for, uh, because of that, I want to say that I have brought in a letter for you. I want you to listen to this letter. Please, the video, please. Dear friends, colleagues, journalists, and other visitors, dear dad, it's time to rethink everything. The world is changing. Gastronomy is changing. Diners are changing. The experiences we have in the kitchen are changing. Our awareness of our environment, the way we communicate, it's all changing. And what about chefs? In this context, our profession and our roles as professionals are also changing. Before we just cooked. Today, we've moved out of the kitchen, sometimes a bit more than we'd like to. Today, more than ever, we are slaves to our professions, but we also have more power. We're social role models, representative of a country, or of a culture. Yes, it's time to think and rethink. To rethink of cooking as a social tool. We don't just feed stomachs. We fill the table with conversations, thoughts, and experiences. To rethink the role of cooking as an economic trigger. Our work has important economic consequences. To conquer a country through its stomach is the shortest route. For example, we introduce people far beyond our borders to San Sebastian, the Basque Country, or Spain. Four decades ago, a group of chefs revolutionized our kitchens and created a concept and a movement, the new Basque cuisine. Since then, that work has attracted visitors, has generated revenue, and has built a brand for a city and a country. To rethink cooking is a source of knowledge, we cooks spend all day learning from our colleagues, from conferences, from publications, and above all, our work consists of searching and researching. We should collaborate and share what we've learned with the science and food industries. 
Rethink the kitchen to strengthen the whole sector. In these times, fine dining restaurants are experience and content generators. The plate is our pretext for telling stories. Our cuisine starts with the producers and in the markets. Sharing our process is much more than highlighting the plate. It's to awaken a new respect for the products and producers that form part of the gastronomic cycle and the cycle of life. Rethink gastronomy to awaken attitudes. From our kitchens we can awaken a curiosity for environmental awareness. To see the world as a place where we're just like renters who have to leave things in good shape when we go. To awaken an interest in biodiversity. To encourage the use of locally sourced raw materials. To demand varieties and species that our lifestyle has condemned to extinction. To recommend seasonal consumption and associate a healthy diet with quality of life. Rethink cooking as a lifestyle. Our lives are conditioned by speed. Everything in our world has to be fast right now. Fast food, fast cars, quick money, quick sex. In our thug, we don't get this fast thing. We are a 100 plus year old restaurant. I'm fourth generation Arthak. For quite some time, I've shared chef's whites with my father, and someday, I'll take on that marvelous but complicated responsibility alone. But I'm not in a hurry to do things. I've grown up watching dishes and plans being made over a low flame. That's the lifestyle I want for my family, my team, and my country. And I'll defend it, wooden spoon in hand. Lots of love. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what I want to say that apart of uh, thinking about new techniques, new, new textures and new flavors that are also, of course, important, uh, in Arzac uh, now we are going to call all this the ray. The rain. And uh, it's a little bit to make an, an, an analyze what we have done before and to rethink it. And for me, it's the in the future, the future belongs to whom who think like that. So now uh, I'm going to, to show you uh, some uh, about all you, you listen in my, in my letter, some examples quick to explain you. This is a, a recycled can of be local beer and uh, that is crushed and is served with the beer. It's to remind that the recycling is very important today. So this is... Uh, uh, lobster, all the products are from local local suppliers we and, and the ingredients are the spices and other ingredients that can travel from all over the world. But in this case, the bee pollen is special because it's in the, in the natural way, not dry and has more flavor and an agreeable acidity. This is, uh, it looks uh, like an onion. It's an onion that is used with um, cacao, and uh, the cut is very curious and looks uh, very spectacular. And it's one plate I like because you use all of the, of the apple. No? You know, today the chefs also we want to use as much as possible and not waste of the food. Here is uh, a local squid uh, uh, fish on the line. That this is a call of of words. Is the Basque called chippy for squid and chapa, chippy chapa. Uh, they are made on a flat grill and uh, with an aroma. Is to bring the aromas. Today is also a discussion in the dining room because uh, some people like doing the mise en scène or the or the uh, working in front of the guests and others don't like it very much. So, in my opinion, this uh, we served, uh, we, we bring the, 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 the chapa, the flat grill, and uh, the squid, and then we pour uh, an infusion of uh, tea of cherries. We make it uh, like a steam because uh, the flat grill is very hot. This aroma, if we bring it from the kitchen, the aroma disappears, and we need it. To, we need to do it in front of the guests. So uh, we want to make this because it's worth. I mean, the all the show. 
Here we want to bring out also and to re reuse again the ingredients that were forgotten or, or disappearing little by little. This is um, a, a bowl of cotton sugar that has cacao and carob. Carob is a fruit of a tree that after the war was used in the substitution of, um, of chocolate. No? And uh, before was eaten only to feed animals, but now we have found out and that has a lot of properties. No? And when you put the sauce, it disappears, goes down. It's um, a dessert that likes big, but is not big. Here is my father that greets you, everybody. Eh, that uh, I work with him for more than 20 years, and he is my major mentor. E even if I spent many, many years ago, we are in the lab, in the lab of Arzac that has been renewed recently. Today in the back is with me Gorzala Cain, one of the chefs of the tasting kitchen that uh, you know also the future of our cookings will be also be the teams of our people and I thank in Igor to come with me in all over the, to all over the world. Here is the lab that you can see is a multifunctional space that we really use it a lot and uh, that uh, is really uh, is on the same built in the same building in the restaurant, and uh, it exists in the year 2000. Igor is there, Igor Zalakain, there is another chef, and it's very useful. Everything we do, we try to do very, very useful. And this is the restaurant Tartak, who whom hasn't, haven't been there. So this is something that um, I want to explain to you also, that um, because I, I see I, I like to speak very much, and I want not to be even too long, no? Because there are other speakers after, no? And uh, I, I would like also to give you some uh, ingredients uh, to Arzac uh, that you understand that we make a multi-faces cuisine. A multi-faces cuisine has, that has a lot of faces, and uh, we have called it also uh, or could uh, remember also to a polyhedron. It's a form that has several faces, no? Today the cooking has more faces, face, faces than, than in the past, no? Um, our goal is to work all these faces, you know, we are not only cook, we, we, we served, we, we uh, cook in a multidisciplinary way, lot, and, and we look on, into other areas, no? And, and so I repeat, our goal is to work all these uh, phases uh, in a concept that is called polyhedrical cooking. No? This is a new term also, like the ray, and uh, whose hallmark in our case is the simplicity. The list I'm going to tell you now, uh, to end, is a list that uh, is from the ideas that we want to, to work and to, to exchange and, and, and to think during next days. Uh, number one, please, is, uh, sorry, it's in Spanish, but uh, uh, I will translate you. Eh? Demand happiness. Cooking gives us the right to pleasure and enjoyment. It's still a pleasure, the cooking. Number two, please, be cooks. That is how we want to be remembered. If it doesn't go good taste, it doesn't have a place in our, in our tables. Please remind, has to be good in the taste. Three, please. Next one, please. See? Defend the flavor. We believe the nature in the nature's intensity. The nature is very important. We are committed, committed to maintaining the purity of the raw materials to heighten the flavors. So the nature is very intense in the, in the commitment of the raw materials to heighten the flavors. Next one, please. Praise the sample. Our work, experimentation, and processes are very complicated in all of our restaurants. The way of creating the plates are not easy. But the, fin the final result should be always be very simple with an apparently simplicity. It's what I like, this apparently simplicity that looks complicated but is not complicated. Provoke exchange. 
Consider the table as a, pl as a space for intern in intern in intern change. Um, Kevin also said in 2012, San Sebastian will be the European cultural capital, and, and his motto is culture for our a harmony. We are committed to using our cuisine as a platform to exchange knowledge and experiences. It's going to be very interesting, so everybody come to San Sebastian. Eh? Sharing and commitment. We serve food, something it, that is missing in a great part of the world. We will work to increase awareness about it and distribute it belong, beyond our realm of activity. So we will help the chefs as much as possible to help in this item. Build our country to reclaim the work of our small producers, sustainable production and promote awareness about respect for local and seasonal products. It's very, very important. I heard this today a lot, and I'm happy to hear that. The loc to help the local producers is really the basis. Teach. Sharing what we know with others is an obligation, and it is also the best way to learn new things. Be an economic engine. We play an important role in our economic system. We attract visitors, generate content beyond our borders, and build brands. So now we are not only chefs. People come to our places because there are many chefs, and we promote this engine. Raise up our voices. We are the mouthpiece for a lifestyle, a quality of life. We commit to spreading our identity far beyond our borders. No, our voice is also a listen in other countries. I am here because you want to, to listen to me. So to end, I want to say you that I'm happy to come here because uh, that you hear to me because I, had, I hear today a lot of things that are similar in my way of thinking. Thank you very much and see you soon. Gracias. Thank you.